Welcome back to the Community Corner Podcast, where we explore S500 companies through the lens of behavioral finance. I'm Arnav. And I'm Mikko. Today, we're focusing on American Electric Power Company, a major player in the electric utility sector. American Electric Power provides electricity to millions of customers across the U.S. and is involved in power generation, transmission, and distribution. We'll explore how behavioral finance influences their decision-making DEI initiatives, market adaptation, and how they stack up against other utility companies. Let's dive in. American Electric Power operates in a heavily regulated industry with significant infrastructure investments. How do biases like loss aversion and anchoring affect their decision making in areas like infrastructure investments and regulatory compliance? Loss aversion is particularly relevant to American Electric Power. This bias refers to the tendency to prefer avoiding losses over acquiring equivalent gains. In the utility sector, where infrastructure investments are significant and long-term, loss aversion might lead to more conservative decision-making. The company might prioritize projects that minimize potential financial losses or regulatory penalties rather than pursuing more innovative but riskier ventures. Anchoring bias also plays a role. This bias involves relying heavily on the first piece of information encountered the anchor when making decisions. For American Electric Power, previous regulatory decisions or historical cost estimates might serve as anchors, potentially impacting their current investment strategies and regulatory negotiations. This can influence their approach to new projects and compliance strategies, potentially affecting their overall operational efficiency. By understanding and managing these biases, American Electric Power can make more balanced decisions about infrastructure investments and regulatory compliance, ensuring long-term success and stability. Exactly. Addressing loss aversion and anchoring helps American Electric Power navigate the complexities of the utility sector and optimize their decision-making processes. Let's discuss diversity, equity, and inclusion day at American Electric Power. How do DEI initiatives intersect with behavioral finance in the context of a utility company? DEI initiatives are crucial for American electric power, especially as they strive to build a diverse and inclusive workforce. From a behavioral finance perspective, strong DEI efforts can enhance employee satisfaction and engagement, leading to better overall performance. A commitment to DEI can also improve the company's reputation, attracting investors who value corporate social responsibility and inclusivity. For investors, DEI efforts signal that the company is focused on creating a positive work environment and addressing societal issues, which can enhance its appeal and potentially lead to better financial outcomes. By fostering a diverse and inclusive culture, American electric power can drive innovation and adapt more effectively to changing market conditions. Investors are increasingly considering DEI efforts when evaluating utility companies, recognizing that a diverse workforce can lead to better decision-making and improved performance. Precisely. By integrating DEI into their corporate strategies, American Electric Power not only strengthens its internal operations but also enhances its market position and attractiveness to socially conscious investors. Moving on to market adaptation, American Electric Power operates in a sector with evolving energy policies and technological advancements. How does the company adapt to these changes and what role does behavioral finance play? American Electric Power adapts by staying informed about regulatory changes, technological advancements, and shifts in energy demand. Behavioral finance helps them understand market sentiment and anticipate changes in consumer preferences. For instance, if there's a growing emphasis on renewable energy, American Electric Power might adjust its investment strategy to include more sustainable energy sources. By leveraging insights from behavioral finance, American Electric Power can make informed decisions about infrastructure upgrades, regulatory compliance, and market strategies, helping them stay competitive in a dynamic energy landscape. 
Their ability to adapt to regulatory changes and technological advancements is crucial for maintaining their position in the utility sector and ensuring continued success. Exactly. By applying insights from behavioral finance, American Electric Power can navigate market fluctuations and regulatory shifts, optimizing their strategies for long-term success. Now, let's compare American Electric Power to other utility companies like Duke Energy, Exelon, and Next Era Energy. How do the behavioral finance dynamics differ? Each utility company has its own behavioral finance dynamics. American Electric Power focuses on traditional power generation and distribution, whereas Duke Energy has a similar focus but with a significant presence in renewable energy. Exelon is known for its nuclear energy assets, and Next Era Energy specializes in renewable energy and clean technologies. Understanding these dynamics helps investors evaluate the relative strengths and strategies of each utility company and how behavioral finance influences their market positioning. Exactly. By comparing these companies, investors can assess which providers' strategies align with their investment goals and how behavioral finance impacts their performance and market approach. To sum up, American Electric Power's approach is influenced by behavioral finance principles whether it's through infrastructure investments, DEI efforts, or market adaptation. These factors play a crucial role in shaping their market position and investor perception. That's right. Understanding these dynamics provides valuable insights into what drives American Electric Power's performance and where potential opportunities and challenges lie. And I'm Nikhil. Stay curious and keep questioning the narratives. Thank you.